Hey guys, it's Hannah from Guyana and today we're going to be making Kali, which is cassava bread. Um, so there's two types of cassava. There's a sweet cassava, which is edible and you can use it just like any other vegetable. Um, and there's bitter cassava like this one, which needs extra special treatment because it has cyanide in it, which is poisonous. This is the cassava root in which we use to um, make the kali. When there is a lot of roots, um, my dad invented this lever thing that helps pull it out without too much work. We, this is my wire sheet, our indigenous backpack. And we don't have the equipment to make cassava bread at the farm, so we're going to our neighbor's house. Let's go. Now we're here at the processing plant. Now, um, Scraping the cassava. Haley's helping us scrape. And I think this piece of cassava might be bigger than her. <laughs> Now we have to wash it. I agree to talk before the <laughs> And now I'm grating. This is the most time consuming and hardest part of the process. Because if you don't know what you're doing, you can also grate your hand, which can be very painful. Um, the traditional Thing that you grate the cassava into is called an adisa, which is sometimes made out of an old canoe. This is a faster and easier way to do it. They're lucky to have a meal. This is a matapi, it's handmade in the village and it's made of mokra and um, we have to soak it before we use it to get it wet. And now fill up the matapi with Grated cassava. Now we're going to squeeze the lapis. Now I need to pull out this stick so we can empty the cassava out of the recipe. Now we're emptying the cassava out of the So this squeezed cassava is called the Maradani and this is the difference. This has 
No juice well, this has a lot of poison. So now we have to squeeze it again, the hardness, and make sure that all of the poisonous juice is out. This is the cassava juice, the poison. We can still use it, but we have to boil it to like boil out the poison and um, it's called Kaylee um it's amazing how our ancestors figured out this method to make food out of poison We use this as a sauce so that we can put fish or wild meat in it. Okay. So the starch at the bottom of this basin from the Kaylee, we use to make tapioca or porridge or starch of clothes. Or during Easter time, they would use it to paste their kites. bread keeps longer if you smoke it so the, this is a three-day process um, pulling one day and then the grating and squeezing and then putting the smoke is one day so we'll see you tomorrow for the rest so the Kaylee is also used to make kazir you leave it to boil until it gets dark like this substance to make casserie which we use to make pepper pot good morning people today is a new day and now it's time to go to our neighbor's house to finish the cassava process now we're here again um the yoraha has smoked all night and now it's time for pound Mm -hmm. I am scraping the smoke layer off of the Yoraha. Now my dad is burst, bursting the firewood. <laughs> um, now I am pounding in the Yoraha in this makes oh this makes the cassava i mean the yuraha more thin in grains like dust ooh. now we have finished pounding and we're gonna sift and the sifter is made of mukra the same as the makati difference now it's thin now after this process we will be ready to bake this is what we're gonna be using to make 
the Kali, and this is going to be used to make Kareli. Now we are going to bake the cassava. We put it in the sun to dry so it can get crispy because it's soft right now and it will keep longer. Is the caler carely. Um This is what we scraped off of the cassava when it was finished smoking, and also what was left in the sift from sifting the cassava. And it's also mixed with the starch, so nothing is wasted. Now we're going to make quenchers. And we put grated coconut and sugar and food coloring for the insides. Tasty treat for us after 
for all of our hard work. All the quinchers have finished on the fire side and they're really tasty. But don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye until the next time.